We, uh, we were really happy with our spring season. We thought a um, bunch of guys stepped up in some new roles. Um, obviously with a lot of returners, um, we weren't necessarily introducing a lot of new things, but we were able to tighten up um, things within our system and um, also got to see some guys really start to develop as leaders, which I think is important for us. And our results all in all in the spring were, um, were, were quite good. And so we're, we were really happy with the spring. Uh, obviously a couple injuries that uh, made the spring a little bit unpleasant for us, but it did give some other guys opportunity. And um, those guys definitely took advantage of that opportunity. Now that school's over and uh, summer's in full tilt here, what, uh, what do you have going on this summer? A lot of recruiting um, camps, you know, we're running a couple day camps for kids, uh, uh, you know, in conjunction with the women's program as well. And then we have an ID camp for those uh, prospects that are interested in coming to Seattle Pacific. We have a high school ID camp that um, is always fun and you get to know the kids uh, pretty well and work with them in a training environment, which is good too, because, you know, watching them play is one thing and getting to coach them and um, you know, also them getting a feel for us is really important. Um, and then just recruiting, you know, uh, Nate and I just got back from Dallas at the Academy Showcase, and uh, we'll be out at a few more events this summer. So busy with recruiting and then, you know, of course, getting ready for the season. So August will be here before we know it. Uh, what are your thoughts on this uh, upcoming season? Uh, we're excited. I mean, there's a there's a big buzz amongst the guys. Um, things that we've seen, you know, off the field from the team this spring has been really, really encouraging. Um, you know, obviously the this will be kind of year four, so a, a group of guys that are well entrenched in our system and um, understand what the expectations are. We're coming off of two, you know, pretty good years, and I, I think the team's hungry for a, a run at the playoffs. So we're definitely excited about this fall. What do you see as a strength of this year's team? Uh, chemistry. Yeah, I mean, I, we've started in recruiting with character, and um, I think it's paying off because the chemistry in this group is really amazing. Um, you know, the, the commitment we see to each other, and, um, you know, I think we'll be pretty potent going forward as well. You know, we've got uh, some guys returning that scored a number of goals for us, and, uh, you know, experience as well is a big thing. Um, really, these guys have seen it all from day one, some of them starting as freshmen um, till now where they've been through it. You know, they've had to battle through injuries and um, kind of the ups and downs, and so we, we feel like they're experienced and poised um, to really do something special. Are there any particular areas you think really need improvement or maybe holes that are left by departures of seniors? I th yeah, I mean, uh, you know, obviously um, Caleb provided some st stability and goal and, you know, Andy, um, just his leadership overall was huge for us. And so that was one thing that in the spring, you know, made it really fun to watch, just seeing those guys kind of fill that void. Um, I think the other thing is we just have to learn how to deal with expectations. Um, you know, last year we didn't get off to a great start and there were expectations around the group and there's expectations once again and um, they've got to find a way to manage that and, and learn how to deal with um, the pressure that comes with it. Is there a player or two you can single out who may surprise people this fall, people who, uh, uh, players who maybe weren't as prominent in the past? Boy, you know, I think that's going to be tough. Uh, I don't really feel like guys sneak up on uh, people too much. Um, you know, I think Blaine probably snuck up on some people last year just with a big freshman year. Um, everybody knows about Schultze, and so he's not, he's not going to sneak up. And, you know, when we moved Elliott up top, I think that surprised people a little bit. But, um, you know, they're, they're going to know what to expect. Uh, maybe a couple of the young guys coming in might surprise some people, but um, we'll, we'll see how that plays out. I don't want to put extra pressure on them. Going back into the uh, summer a little bit, you played here at SPU. What uh, what did you do when you were a player during the summer? Um, well, they they I think what uh, goes on now and what went on way back in the dark ages of us playing is a little different. Um, you know, I know a lot of the guys are playing on um, some of the semi-pro teams in the area and um, different youth teams. Um, we certainly give them a pretty uh, comprehensive summer packet to make sure that their fitness levels are staying up um, where they need to be so that they can come into camp uh, fully sharp. But a big thing for us is we want to make sure that they have time to enjoy their summer and their rest. Uh, the year is, you know, it's a lot of work to compete at this level. And, you know, don't forget they're going to school and trying to be college kids as well. So we, we like them to enjoy a bit of their summer and, um, and make sure they're fresh and healthy when they come in is the biggest thing. And uh, lastly, um, 
you're still very busy in summer, but not, not maybe as busy or, as you are during the year. Uh, you could see a little other soccer between your son's games and uh, Sounders. What, what do, you, do you like attending soccer games uh, just as a fan? Yeah, it's great. Um, of course, when I can go watch my kids play, that's always fun because you get to be dad for a little bit. Um, but, you know, the nice thing when you're, you're not as busy is you get a chance to uh, maybe sit down and watch a Sounders game and enjoy it and talk to people about it. Whereas when you're, you know, during the course of the year, it's a little harder. Uh, certainly be able to take in the Man U game when they come into town this summer. And, you know, we can't forget I'm a diehard Red Sox fan, too. So we got to catch uh, keep up with them as well. Is it difficult for you to take your coaching hat off while watching your son play? Well, of course. I think you always have the coaching hat on. Uh, it's just you maybe uh, temper your thoughts a little bit, and uh, I just try to be cheering and uh, supportive dad uh, at that point.